It detects a number of things. Dark chocolate, for example. There you go. It detects ketchup. Well, it actually detects anything that is an object and is a number of centimeters away from it. Your hand, your band, your plastic band, anything. Oh, well, it won't work. The 1% of things that infrared light goes through, like clouds. Don't even try measuring a cloud with this. Don't do it. So you can see there that the out, the signal out, I've got a blue cable on that and I've got that going into pin one in the micro bit. So you could crocodile clip that to pin one. The ground will go to the ground pin on the micro bit and break it board. That's the black row at the bottom. They're all connected. I've also got a VCC on the sensor and that that is going to VCC on the micro bit, which is your three volts. And again, just don't forget, you do still need that 1K resistor connecting pin one and your three volts. Um, if you don't have that, what will happen is it'll detect an object the first time and it'll change from maybe one to zero and then it'll be stuck at zero and you'll be like, hey, hey dude, what's going on? And uh, what you need to do there is put on that resistor and then you'll be able to reuse it again and again and again and it'll not have to reset it and turn it on and off. This breakout board actually comes with a feature where you can just join three volts to pin one right over here at this side. Isn't that convenient? So I just um, got the resistor and squished it down with two metal bolts so it's in contact and put a little bit of tape over the middle bit just in case, you know, it gets moved around and hits the tape. Um, so yeah, there you go, that works. So just to show you on a regular micro bit with no breakout board, You'd have to use crocodile clip or something like this, but the out I've connected to pin one here. Um, also, don't touch things with metal when they're plugged in. Everything here is plugged out. Even when it's plugged out, I probably shouldn't be using metal. Um, the ground there goes to the ground over here, and VCC is your three volts there. You're going to want to move the dial back until the green light just goes out. Right then, it's just at the tipping point. And the slightest thing in front of this thing will now set that off like that. Um, if you find that sunlight, uh, because there's a component of infrared light in natural sunlight, is setting it off, you just need to adjust that screw so it's not so sensitive. You can also kind of use it as um, a way to uh, change the sensitivity so that it might detect something maybe one centimeter away or five centimeters away. But really, like, once it gets but I'd say a hand length away. Um, this isn't really the sensor you want to be using. You want to be using an ultrasonic sensor then. This is only for quite close proximity. The code for this could not be more simple. It's just forever loop, show number, digital read pin one, whatever pin you've got it connected to. I, I, I like to put on a pause here just to make sure it doesn't uh, go too mad and lose track of itself. Um, that's it. That will show you a one or a zero and just watch out it's sort of the opposite um often a one you'd think would mean it's a tech something but the way this works is it's a zero it's just i guess the way the the switch is um so uh you could also put in this line here if you want to write to serial that might be handy if you wanted to um you know write into a pc or a Raspberry pi or something like that to record uh, when something's happening. Um, another thing you might do is add some extra code to it for logic. So um, you could, instead of, of just doing read digital pin here, you could do this in a forever loop. As in, you could say, if the pin is zero, and zero meaning uh, it detects something, show a tick. But you could also play a music, send a buzzer, light up some LEDs, run some Python code, do you know? Um, else, if it's this, uh, I put in, now, strictly speaking, I all I needed was if, the very first line here, and an else, because there's, there's only two possibilities. So if it's not heads, it's not gonna be potatoes. It's gonna be tails, you know? So you might as well say heads or the other thing, because heads and everything else, everything else is tails. So, you know what I mean? But I like to put this in one and zero because it's just easier to understand for someone to look at. So I put in else, hmm? 
because <laughs> if it's not heads and tails when you flip a coin, what else is it? <laughs> what is your coin doing? It's a three-sided coin? Maybe an interdimensional coin that just turns up on its side and flashes the Illuminati sign. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, that's the code for it really is uh, this guy here. So that'll get you going. When I connected up these, I'm really used to this going in the same order of the marker bit. I don't know, like most things tend to go signal, voltage and ground. But look at this guy, signal, ground and voltage. <gasps> I plugged it in, the screen was dim, it wasn't working great. And I was surprised to find that this particular sensor is the wrong way around. Well, the wrong way around. I mean, it's a difference of opinion. Their opinion's wrong.